this Dad versus a Maz. Uh, they're one in one lifetime. We got the, a tweet from somebody here saying they're one. They're nine nine uh, overall, but overall in the series they're one and one, I believe. So yeah, it's a very dead even record. They've won the same amount of games against each other, but uh, overall in the series match it's been split even. This is going to break that tie. Reynolds being the one of the most unlucky players, um, he he needs to win something. Like he he won North of the Arena. He was doing fairly well in other tournaments, but he really wants to advance and uh, and show that he is uh, a good tournament player. Even though we know this, like his fans are telling him, "Hey, Reynolds, can you can you win some something at some point?" <laughs> 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 they you know they're they're getting impatient. They I mean, want those are the exact words they do use. They, they do want oh him to man. win. On the other hand, Amaz, uh, well, he, he wins all sorts of stuff. Yeah, he won a lot. Yeah. yeah. And um, he's the god of RNG, as far as I know. Got, I mean, even if during his slump, and he even said he felt like he wasn't winning that much, he just got second in a tournament. I mean, if that's not winning that much, the guy clearly just wants to be the best on top of the scene. And he's improved a lot, too. Yeah, um, it, this is the best I've seen him play so far in this tournament. I thought he played a really nice series uh, earlier against Kevrix. Yeah, and uh, it, it was overall close in the score, but uh, if Maz wasn't on point, it could have easily went the yeah. other way. Yeah. And then it'd be Reynad versus Kabrix, and who knows So can we say that both players are in the top form right now, really prepared for this tournament and ready to face each other? Uh, Reynad will never admit that. Well, he was. He'll so never be as top form. You know what? He was. Stuff. He was really salty about getting uh, out of the first group because he was like, "I, I congratulate him, like Andre, congratulations on getting out of the group." Mm -hmm. And he's like, "You know what? But I, I'm still in a group stage. Yeah, I haven't advanced he's worried yet." About that. I, I think at this point, um, he's just trying not to set high expectations from himself to himself, uh, and he wants to. He wants to do well. Of course, it's not like he doesn't want to do well. Uh, but at the same time, yeah. I, I did get to chat with him before, and he's like, yeah, I don't know, I'll just play and see what happens. Well, that's what you got to do. Uh, you do put a lot of pressure on yourself, especially when as many people watch you as watch Raynad. So, and especially when you say some of the salty things that he does, in fact, say. Uh, that yeah. makes people pile even more pressure on you. Like, hey, Savitz, your undefeated Shaman deck is shit, The one everyone's way. excited about, it's, <laughs> it's a terrible deck. I don't okay. know. I, mean, I, I think it's going to be cool to see uh, a clash of styles, too, because Reyna did bring different decks than Amaz did. Amaz brought uh, the Priest, the Warlock, which is a zoo, his Druid, and his Warrior, and then Reyna has that Freeze Mage, the Hunter deck, uh, the Shaman, which he also claims is undefeated. I don't re remember that correctly. And then uh, Reynad's Warrior deck mm. as well, which he claims is solely just to counter this Freeze Mage. So Reyna is not banning the zoo. He banned oh. the Hunter. And he did pay, pick a priest as a starting deck for Amaz. Yeah, and uh, the the freeze mage actually comes right up. So, huh? So again, Frodon, what's um, how does priest win this matchup? <laughs> I know you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Nim. Frodon is just shaking his head. You're just the best. Uh, Nim knows how to troll me really hard. <laughs> okay, guys, we we actually explained it many times before. But uh, you just want to rush. You just want to force the freeze mage to uh, use ice block to, to into into de defense mode, and then you want to keep your heals to be able to win the game after Alex Straza drops. Let me yeah. ask you this: If freeze, freeze mage draws perfectly, can priest do anything about it? I don't think so. I think perfect drawing freeze mage probably beats everything. Every oh well, like like even not warrior hunter? probably. Like if you think about it, um, like a perfect perfect drawing freeze mage. Uh, can like get, pro yeah, an absolutely perfect run freeze mage can get like four fireballs out of what yeah, his is his Antonidas. Right, he has like, going to. What that's about like getting a little bit ridiculous, but perfect drawing probably beats everything but warrior without the ridiculous Antonidas. What do you say, uh, perfect drawing freeze mage versus perfect drawing hunter wins? Oh, the hunter, yeah, of course, yeah. Oh, the hunter, yeah, of course, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, that, that this call card is called Glare, it's yeah. a very good card, yeah. Yeah, that card is pretty bananas, but thankfully, Raynette has taken that off the table. Uh, all right, and it seems like he's been intent on playing it slow originally as he was um, just using his hero power, but now he's going to use his coin to push out loot hoard. No, he's got to ping this. If he was uh, going to do that, like, if he doesn't, he only gets one card off of it, which is the same thing as playing loot hoarder. Yeah. So he may as well ping and then get the card off loot hoarder later, right? Yeah, I was interested that he's not worried about... At least at the moment of taking damage, like um, I mean, 
six damage. Mm. He is no, taking he, a lot of damage. Let's not forget that he uh, he did say that you know the only person that knows how to play freeze mage aside from him is Kalento, and we've seen I felt like some pretty good freeze mage players here so far. So we'll oh. see if like he has something up his sleeve that other people aren't really doing. You know. Yeah, freeze mage is definitely a very uh, difficult deck to play, and uh, a, a single mistake can cost you the game. But right now, Amaz is dealing a lot of damage, and he has a board which is also kind of scary. I like uh, Okanai Soul Breeze because then you're you're changing your hero power into something really powerful. Yeah, that two damage a turn definitely uh, it does it's add up. It's a hunter hero power. That's what it is. Yeah, even. Uh, Against the mage, th that just freezing your board, you will continue to deal two points of damage for two mana, which is yeah. great. Uh, you know, unfortunately here for Raynet, he doesn't actually have a Frost Nova. Uh, so, okay, he's going to throw up his Ice Barrier. So that's going to, like, kind of negate most of the damage coming in this turn. Not all of it, but... There is a Fot Steel. Oh my god, this... If Fot Steel gets an Ice Block, or maybe even a Fire... No, there's no way for to get a Fireball, because Fireballs are already mm -hmm. in the hand. You steal this, right? Yeah, you have to steal. Yeah, it. you do. I don't think the two damage matters as much as stealing the card. Sure. You want to deny the you want to deny the draw. Well, right now I can start the freezing process with uh, his blizzard, but it still won't take away from the fact that he's under two damage pressure a turn guaranteed. Yeah. Also, there's a silence in uh, Amaz's hand, so this card might actually win the game at some point if if Reynard that's feels like. That's a good point. Uh, oh, or at least pop an ice block, that which might yeah, be huge. Yeah, yeah. Well, th that's oftentimes leading to a win, so that's a really good point, Nemsh. I'm surprised that Raynet also kept his... Did he have Doomsayer from the very beginning of the game, too? Because oh, I don't remember the mulligan. That's actually. also a way to respond to uh, early freeze, although Maz does have that Shadow of Pain if Raynet did his research, so maybe he was afraid of that. I guess it's always going to hit that anyways, right? Sure. So better to play it early than then late later. when you're actually relying on it to kill everything. Oh, exactly, I completely agree. I like Sylvanas, by the way, because you're playing around Flame Strike, and then you ensure, like, yes. you force yes. the Flame Strike, and you still have something on board. That's right. Oh, second Blizzard. Wow. Well, that's uh, that's actually pretty good because this is going to reduce the minion count by two, and he has uh, uh cold, uh. Cone wow, of cold. Cone, of cold. cone of cold. There we go. I don't. I'm like, well, I guess I just forgot the name of this card. <laughs> oh, he's um, going. We haven't seen it. Um, so you can Blizzard and, and uh, Doomsayer next turn. Okay. Well, oh, wow. this that's oh, a good draw. Wow. Uh, well, that's. <laughs> I mean, I guess the Thalnos is like okay. It's a cycle. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Or maybe if, um, in, in a re re really weird situation, if uh, Reynard has only f six health, he's like, yeah, I'm safe from a Holy Fire, and then Amaz, is, Amaz plays Thalnos and Holy Fire for the win. That wow. <laughs> that would be something else. That would be something else. Yeah, you're obviously going to use a hero power here and attack. Um. Oh, okay. I'm right. not sure if I like that. Whoa! But, but this this board is actually pretty huge. Yeah, like this really makes him resistant against any sort of flame strike. Like, Reynad cannot be happy with how that just went. That was actually a cool move. Amaz yeah. is really good at specifically this matchup, by the way. Like, I was that was the most impressive game for me out of the last one for him. Well, on the other hand, he actually just lost the possibility to be able to to silence your minion and pop the possible ice block. Yeah. Uh, but I think this is okay. Like he has uh, this this shadow word pain. He can get out of here. Yep, and he can heal a creature and even draw a card. And Reynard is out of AOE freezes. Uh, he may he needs to pick up something that can stall, such as Frost Nova. I think Amaz is in a such a good position here. <gasps> oh my <laughs> God! <laughs> draw more cards. Yeah, the circle of healing is useless otherwise. So you want to draw the cards. Pretty awesome. Oh wow, look at uh, this. Well <laughs> if if he would keep the Thalnos. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> Nimshi would come true. Your prophecy. Well, Reynad needs some kind of freeze. There is a nice block, but it's Wow. Well that's it. Is that it? No, wait wait, okay, there is a nice block, but there is a nice block. But there's not really much else to go behind it. So Frodon. Being a freeze mage, how do you win from this position? 
<laughs> Nim's just not going to show up here tomorrow. We're not going to know what happened. Oh. <laughs> is there, but um, honestly, is there like a, a single possibility to... Be no, there's to not. Draw? Like, it, it doesn't, doesn't even matter what he draws, right? Like, look at how strong this board is. Uh, you cannot kill everything. You, I guess you would have to freeze and doom Sayer. So you would ice block this turn, obviously. Uh, and then you need to next turn draw into the right card. But he has, he has the holy fire, which actually won't. There's yeah, no it's he can proc you every turn. That's the problem here. Yeah. Okay, so he's just seeing if he can damage it out. So but he needs no to way. draw into second ice block, and then. Archmage Antonitis and do that? No, he has to. Yeah, no, there, there's like no way to be able to defend at all. No, he needs to draw a second ice block. And he, no, he needs to draw a draw spell that draws a second ice block, right? Because th he just doesn't have enough damage. All right, so what's the last card that Reynard is going to see? I like that Amaz kept uh, Holy Fire, even though it's yeah. a little unnecessary considering how high he's in health, but... Okay, so do you Frostbolt... Do you do the Force in play? Yeah, I mean, you you have to Frostbolt that dude. Thing is, he's just going, like, right back up to 30. Yeah, but this is so hopeless anyway. Yep. So, what does he get? Is it Ice Barrier or Ice Block? It... I, I mean, from the looks of it, it seems as if it's ice block. And he got it. That but was nice block, but it's not enough. How much is it delaying the inevitable? Yeah. Um, he knows he doesn't play counter spells. I would just heal Holy Nova. The game's over. Well, what you do right now is you get information, as much information as possible from a mouse. Like, try to survive to see one more card that might actually have a meaning. <laughs> Gotta place that right, Amaz. Be careful. Yeah, this game, uh, completely going to him. He has so much direct damage in his hand, too. Between Akanai and the Holy Nova. Right. Oh! <laughs> but uh, it's uh, obviously not enough. Yeah. It's mean, a strong combination, but again, Rina didn't have any semblance of the board, and then he just allowed a drop to happen every single turn. Well, actually, if you ice lance, wait. No, yeah, no, if no, you ice lance and play Alex draws on yourself, I you're guess you might be you're able still to dead. Get a turn. You're still dead. Yeah, he has a, the damage in hand. Or are you? This is 5, 8, no, he's 12. He's got Shadow or Jez for Alex draws he's as well. Is he 1 damage to lethal? Uh, is he? 10, 12. Uh, Thing is, he can just kill the Alex draws anyways and go up to 29. Yeah, I don't see any way to get out of this one. You can even steal his Alexstrasza for style points. Yeah, that's true. Aw, uh, he has no style points for a Maz. Yeah, he's messing up. Missed BM. A Maz just completely all over these Freeze Mages, man, with his Freeze deck. He really gets how to do everything right, and he's getting these very nice starts as well, I have to say. Like, lots of pressure. Around. He knows how to play If that was Frost Nova, in fact, Raynat's still alive, but that wasn't Frost Nova. That's actually, th that's really interesting, but you're right. Yeah. Alright, so, looks like Amaz will take this first game in the best of five pretty decisively. And, you know, mm -hmm. Raynat was saying how, um, you know, Freeze Mage is not that easy to play, and I think there were some calls where you could argue one way or the other. He was maybe taking too much damage, and he needed to take it a little more seriously. Mm. Different decisions. Right. Like, for example, yeah. on turn two, when they drop a Pyromancer, you had the option of dropping Doomsayer. Doomsayer, like a yeah, preemptive Doomsayer. Right. And then he instead pinged and took three damage from Pyromancer, pinged again, and then took damage from the Dark Cultist. And that guy just all starts a snowball chain. Yeah. And then he put out the Acolyte to start drawing instead of, like, taking it again. So... It's just like these these things start yeah. snowballing, and I wonder if Reyna just didn't take the threat of free seriously. I I do agree with you here. Like that's the point where he's least likely to have shadowward pain, uh, and the way that priest actually really crushes freeze mage is through playing a minion on turn two, turn three, turn four. 
Uh, and this is what he was doing, and this is what we've seen from Ahmad. It's like he wants to just play a minion every turn. It doesn't matter what it is. He needs to get minions out. So, yeah, I think that you're completely right. If he had played that, uh, if he doesn't have the Shadowward Pain, even if he uses the the uh, Shadowward Death, or Pain, sorry, or no, no, wait, if I he uses it. Silence, then you're even fine with that because, as you were saying, Nims, like, the silence actually can really come in handy when you're frozen. And it you did. Attack. He, he used it uh, at some point to actually like, heal up his board. But uh, what really amazes me is that eight months later, Amaz is still playing with his priest, and he is winning with his priest. Yeah. Well, he wasn't always. It's when it's a little bit modified from what he was used before. Not much, though. When Nax Ramus first came out, Amaz was still playing his older priest with, you know, like uh, the Mind Blasts and... Valen? No, he wasn't playing no Valen. Valen. It was like that plus... Other weird cards I can't remember off the top of my head. Uh, like two holy smites. Ancient Watchers? No. No, 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 no. It was playing like the regular ones, and he was not winning at all. And then meanwhile, we saw like the other people adapt different forms of priest and was starting to win. And then I think like Amaz finally got over that. And I, I've been hearing from other players' feedback, and you know I hope I'm not making up people upset who are fans of Amaz, but I heard that he's a little stubborn in his deck building sometimes, where he feels like, well, you know, I really feel like this is the right way to play. But it seems like after be having practice partners like Firebat, Backspace, Posty, etc., it seems like he's really starting to multiplay, and I feel like that's where he hit the next level. Yeah, he's definitely a, a higher level than uh, the last time I commentated him at a tournament. Like, he's much better this time, I think. All right, so now Amaz uh, is pretty happy with that one, and Raynat's going to queue a punter into Priest. That's t That's tough. Oh my god, like there is Punter a fire monster. Yeah, that's that's an interesting I one. I mean, I can understand Shaman not being the one, but I feel like Warrior is a reasonable response. He said he only wanted Warrior to, like, literally only use it against uh, Freeze Mage. So I think he's just completely skipping it. And this is where oh, uh, man. definitely he's a little bit stubborn oh. as well, right? W look, at, look at Cult Master. Oh, he, look at this. He drew. Oh. Oh, wow. Oh, I didn't see the hunters bar. I was a little. Wait, 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 wait! Did he just? Okay, oh, okay. so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. I okay. thought there was gonna be a wild pyromancer with a coin and a no shy cleric healing a bunch, but turns out it's okay. That look looked like he didn't play the hyena before he. Yeah, I was like really confused <laughs> yeah, for just a second like there because <laughs> the <laughs> hand is not synced correctly. But and right. he looked salty there, so I was like, yeah. did he really make a mistake like that? But no. That would be so good. It was just uh, uh, animal yeah. companion right on cue. Okay, guys, so basically, Reyna did pick a Hunter, which is, uh, well, he wants to save his Warrior. The problem is, yeah. both Hunter and Shaman are pretty bad versus Priest. Priest is countering those decks. Um, you think the Priest counters the Warrior? No, Priest doesn't counter the oh Warrior. Oh, the Hunter. It counters Hunter okay. and Shaman. Sorry, yeah, I misheard like, you. Um, I think that Death Rattle Priest counters Hunter quite well. Um, does it counter this one as well? I don't think so, but... I think it's like reasonable against the hunter, but I think that Raynad uh, is quite opinionated in what he thinks counters what. He's also Not to say that he's wrong about it, but like I think he thinks that hunter doesn't have a counter, and I think he also thinks that warrior is so bad he would not use it against anything except for freeze mage. He, I mean, I, I mean, come on, it's just mage. There's not warrior is not the worst class in the game, but whatever. Just what is the worst the class? class? Paladin, according to Raynad. Ah, uh, okay. okay. Um. Well, uh, he has a way to answer this wild pyromancer directly, and he also has interesting cards like Dark Cult, um, not Dark Cult, it's Cult Master, to help draw the cards whenever one of your minions yeah. dies. Now, I people have said that this, like this card doesn't work, but apparently it does. I've definitely uh, seen it do some funny stuff. You have some spider tokens out, you play a snake trap, it's, you draw a lot of cards. This uh, hand is snowballing pretty fast. Yeah. We're uh, starting to do damage with Misha every turn now. Yeah. yeah, but Misha is super strong. And uh, Amaz is actually dropping pretty low, and um, he wasn't able to answer the early pressure from Hunter, and this might this game might really snowball. Well, you know what? He's going to have a sick turn coming up, because we're going to see Sludge Belcher, and then he can play Hyena plus Cult Master and lose two minions killing Sludge Belcher. Wow. Uh, it's pretty crazy, and they're both beasts as well. So he gets to draw two extra cards. Like... Draw wow. two cards, gets a free board, wow. has a 4-3. Yeah, and a 4-2. No, no, he actually, that'll be, one ones. that'll be a 6-4. Oh, wow. In fact, Unleash. if, if, if Raynai wants to do this correctly, he has to suicide a, a minion before he plays the Scavenger Hanger, so that way it's a 4-3 and it doesn't get hit by Shadow or Death. 
By the way, have we have we seen uh, oh. Reynolds Hunter before, or is it the first time? Wow, that would be. Uh, uh, yeah, no, we haven't seen Reynolds yeah, Hunter yet. Yeah, it's usually it. banned. So the correct sequence, if he wants to play around Shadow Word Death, of course he he could be trying to play something else instead, like around Holy Fire. But you only trade one beast before you play a scavenging hyena. Huh. Yeah, I mean, uh, you're okay. absolutely what you're saying eh, is whatever. correct if he wants to play around that card, but eh. um, you don't like necessarily have to because he might be like, okay, use it on this hyena I got off a web spinner and let my Savannah high main be fine. You know what's interesting is that this one isn't supposed to be in the deck. This is yeah. totally just based off of uh, what happens to get drawn off of web spinner. Yeah, but it combines it really well. It synergizes so well. Yeah, it really does. Do you kill off this sludge? Just one two with the bow. I don't think you do Especially because I don't because think the sludge actually does anything different. Like you can yeah, I want to I want to throw my two spiders and draw two new cards off these little tokens. Actually, you know what's clever too about this is uh, you can't holy nova and shadow word death right now. Yeah, this all works out pretty well. O Okanai would be great with a circle. So does the law of high main apply to the scavenging hyena? No, absolutely, it does not. All right. He cycled Unequivocally, the blur. it does not. No. Oh, he got, he actually drew a blank. That's unfortunate for him. Yeah. I mean, is it a blank oh. in a sense? It's like he's the Undertaker. Hunter's mark. Oh, oh, okay. I thought you meant the top of the deck. Never mind. Oh, this is. Oh, cute. this is a nice play. That is really oh, cute. wow, and he did that really quick. Yep. <laughs> He's done that before. That's cool. I do like that. I was, like, getting confused for a second, too. I'm like, wait, why Ooh. is it good? Oh, yeah. Oh, so wow. Maz has stabilized at 12. At 12 health. Yeah, and I, seven. I assume we're going to see him heal every single turn from here on out. And right now it, it looks pretty grim because God, there, is a steal that heal. there is a Cabal Shadow Priest. God, that's so brutal. Yes. Well, you steal it, heal, and attack, I guess. Well, this is the moment that Priest can actually turn around the game. Yep. Maybe. I mean, he did manage to save his uh, Shadow or Death, so then High Main's not even exactly the the best card either. You called yeah. the High Main. It's like, do you High Main and then unleash the Hounds to... Like, I is think that all in? You can actually clear. I mean, I like it. Clear and play High Main. Yeah, on yeah. Board. I do like that as oh well, boy. I think. Oh, he d chooses not to. That's I don't think it's uh, bad, but that's uh, well, the I think it's the r I think that's not the right move here because we know it's in the hand of a Maz. Yeah, uh, I guess he doesn't, but he can steal the Hymen, yeah. That's insane. That is absolutely an oh awesome play. Oh, boy. But you're against two cards in hand. Like, I guess if they were, no, if no, he you has, like, you uh, steal a one-mana thing and two. There's no way any uh, when you've seen oh wait. command already. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he's not stealing the high main, which is good as well because you can steal another high main in the future. Uh, yeah, I just you don't have the instantaneous effect. Yeah, well, I guess you know what, he uh, it worked out for him still. I mean, just getting rid of it at all is really nice. I mean, he's sat in a such good position and even <laughs> gets a such boat right now. This this game is over, I'd say. Yeah. Amaz has stabilized way too heavily, and he already used one of the kill commands, so, like... Yeah, that was, a, like, the web spinner getting a beast like that would have been what Reyna needed. Tiger mm. uppercut. But it's still heal. Even though you've seen one kill command already... Is there Leroy in this deck? Uh, Passively. I do not know. It's not over, by the way, Nim. He, ha he can easily rebound with another Gold Master. Actually, <laughs> that's... We have to remember that. Gold Master is... Like ridiculous in what it can I do. I think most people play just one, and if I remember his list correctly from Wild Game, he was playing one only. Okay. Okay. Yeah. It's uh, he could have changed it though. No, oh, obviously, but um, it's still tough. Amaz is really respecting the damage. Is he healing? He's using every opportunity to heal. Yeah. I mean, yeah. he was holding cards for a while, and you're not sure if it's kill command. Oh, look. oh, there's another cult master in the there. <laughs> there is another cult master. <laughs> and he has it. He's got nine damage on board. He has six with the bow. Fifteen. Piece it together, and maybe you have a run at killing your opponent. Ah, I guess he doesn't want to turn on the aggro. He wants to be super safe. Mm -hmm. He wants to use hero power every time. Yeah. 
there comes a point against Hunter where you really do have to do that as mage. 17 damage next turn. He needs like uh, his cult master. Cult master. Ooh. Double, well, double dogs. He can definitely clear everything next that he turn, can see. <laughs> next turn, if he has cult master, he's going to draw so many cards. I mean, you have to use 100 counts now. Yeah, yeah, you, you yeah. can actually clear a bit. You, you can, can clear like everything. Yeah. Wow. I don't think he really has a choice here, but luckily for him, uh, this is actually a lot of damage. Wow. Yeah. Oh I'm actually man, he can't. I guess I didn't all. think of this. This is kind of crazy. Wow. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Can he? What? Kill so four. He only can kill four. No, he can kill five if he uses the bow. That's true. Uh, but he's taking one damage, so he can't. He can't get out of command. The kill command, he wins. Wow, that is strong recognition. Like, this is the only way Raynai can win. Do you call yeah. Master to try and draw a card? He's trying to get Holy Nova? No. This is a blank. So he you can actually kill his other own minion as well. Oh, Shadow Word Then death? he can't heal up uh, and play something. So I don't think that that's worth But after, after Shadow Word Death, he doesn't have enough mana to cast a, ho a possible Holy Nova, so... Yeah, no, I think he uses Shadow Word Pain and both his minions running into doggies and heals yeah. himself up. Oh my god, this actually is... This is super I thought dangerous. you said this game was over, Nick. Wait, wait, what? He could have... Yeah, oh yeah like uh, Reynard was uh, yeah, in, Reynard. The, in the lead, obviously. <laughs> 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 uh, god, Nimsh. Way to call a game before it's over. Ah, no, it's like, of course, uh, it looked hopeless for a while, but... Yeah. This is a really good move from Reynard. I'm... I'm really surprised about Double Anish. Uh, it's the, a card that a lot of people just cut from Hunter, but Reynard is bringing it back with a Cult Master. He needs yeah. three damage. Pro is using one too. Weapon! Weapon is it! Oh Reynard has evened up the series! <laughs> oh, my oh my god! Oh my god! He actually Craziness. got it. <laughs> you know what? I really have to give it to Reynard. He didn't wow. straight with the minions, he went for face. <laughs> Wow! Some somewhere. I can't believe that he just pulled that one out. Like Amaz stabilized so heavily. Somewhere so in the cerebral cortex of Reynad's brain, there is the word "sweet, sweet justice" echoing inside of it. <laughs> Reynad is getting a good RNG for the wow, first time. Oh that my God. Like, cause again, that's like the position Amaz is known to be in to get the one outer, and then Reynad's the one who does it against Amaz. What do you get when you combine Reynad's skills with good RNG? I don't know. That's a paradox that I don't think we're ready to teach <laughs> except for quantum <laughs> physics classes. <laughs> uh, um, guys, tell your friends that this is on right now. This yeah. is a crazy match. Amaz versus Reynad, two of the big fan favorites in Hearthstone right now. And uh, one one. Uh, it's pretty exciting so far. Reynad defeating the counter deck. Amaz dominating two games in a row, but losing one of them. Uh, yeah, wow. that's actually pretty good. Yeah, yeah. It's like, how do you lose the game from that spot? It seemed impossible. He's at like 15 health, healing every turn, steals everything, kills everything. Every he should have stolen the high man. Should have stolen the high man. Every point of damage ended up mattering. Well, yeah, but then Amaz would have killed him time. every single time. And like, you know, I really like the lines that Amaz took. Like, I don't know. I, I feel like overall he made a lot of the right moves to be aggressive. Yeah. Or no, not I, I think his moves were good. Um, if we went back in time and he stole the high main, he wins the game because he could have holy fired face instead of a token, and he would have had the extra six damage. Right. That's true. I'm really impressed how Reynard actually like went for face with the dogs instead of like killing a four-one injured blade master, even though it was so tasty to just kill this yeah. one blade master. I don't know if I even would have counted. I'd be like, oh, I'm gonna kill all this stuff, and I guess I lose. <laughs> All right, what do you bring yeah. in? What do you bring in? Warrior. <laughs> He's so happy with yeah. that. Like, he, like, this is what Rayna can't even stop smiling. His mouth doesn't know what to do. It's like, am I supposed to? Am I supposed to frown and wrinkle? No, I don't need to smile. No. The lips don't know what to do, man. Oh, well, he definitely needed to win that uh, that game to f to position himself uh, to win the match. Like losing to that priest would be devastating for for the, the possible matchups. Well, uh, okay, so. This is a really bad start, by the way. Yeah, yeah. I don't mind the warrior hand, to be honest. I think it's good. Yeah, warrior's hand is great. Yeah, <laughs> he's got unleashed. Raynad is like, this is a terribly bad hand. Uh, he's, go uh, he's got. If this is Huffer. Wait a minute. If you click the card that comes out, does it disappear more quickly? Yes. Yeah. I had no idea. I'm like, why is Maz doing that? Why is that disappearing so quickly? Really? Yeah, yeah, I had no idea. If you do, that's why. It's just. 
don't know. You just start doing it so that way the game moves faster for you. I have no idea. Did you actually wait? Yeah, I just sit there. I'm like, uh. Okay. Wow. Just learn something new all the time. <laughs> at, at some point, it's actually a skill, so y you're not getting roped. Yeah, no, this seems like a good micro and stuff. It turns out Hearthstone is becoming yep. a uh, a game that you need more skill. You need mechanical skills. Yeah. No wonder the StarCraft players so are doing so well. Reyna developed, or sorry, he didn't choose. He chooses not to develop the bow at all. Instead, he just saved his eagle horn bow and then hero powered. What's now he doesn't get the benefit of the extra charge on the bow. What was the secret played? Fusion trap. Okay. You do attack still, yeah. Yeah, but I'm. Hmm. Yeah. It, it starts broken. No, it, it, you know, I I remember I was playing like a lot of aggro hunter at one point. And I was talking to Kit Kats a lot in depth about Aggro Hunter against Warrior and how to win that. And uh, the the advice that he gave me that I ended up using a lot uh, and actually really liking is if you have secrets in your deck, you're trying to utilize the secrets to power up the bow because it's so much recurring damage. And th I think you're right. I think he like may have missed that if you you know feels like it. But of course, it's easy for us to say. Indeed. Um, all right, Rainan gets web spinner, so that's a beast to activate kill command. Yeah, also on the other hand, uh, I wasn't expecting Warrior to have two minions more at the same time. If um, if Amaz is playing more minions, Rainan might, might actually get a, a really good value from um, Unleash Cold the Hounds. Yeah, the Cold yeah. I guess this is the turn before he can do that. Sure, but, but I, I mean, you yeah. have two of those. Yeah. It's so interesting that he has like this four mana buzzer. Ah, well, it's better than five mana buzzer. <laughs> is it? Uh, would you rather have the cards before they well die I or after they die? I would, but I'd rather do it one turn earlier. Sure. Hunter's Mark, not as good. Speed of it, much better. Oh, this could be painful. Fiery War Axe has to chop down the Lothep, doesn't it? Uh, You could brawl. Oh, yeah, you could brawl. Like, yeah. Is it time to YOLO brawl? YOLO brawl? And then leave up the 5-2 the and then X. That's what Forsen would do, but, I mean, he's out of this tournament, so. Forsen, bro. So you uh, brawl after and then fire wax whatever comes out? Just live with the consequences? Yeah, why not? I think... Because if you get that slime, you're pretty good, right? I think you attack into Lothab. Attack into Lothab, kill the spider. What is your other play for the turn, though? You just armor up? Armor up. You can silence the... You do center. have two axes, so, like, I understand it to a certain degree, but... The problem with Brawl is that after you Brawl, you, you might still attack into 5-2, and it's, it would seem that you just wasted the Brawl. Yes, it, it would, but... That, that's, that's why I think you can... I think for sure you kill the Web Spinner, too. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. It's a beast. Yeah, you deny the beast yeah. and armor up. So he's going to silence the 1-1. One one. Yeah. Right. yeah. That's yeah. also fine. You deny the card. Yeah, that's a good play. And it leaves him out with a, a minion that can actually do something next turn. Sure. But uh, are we going to see we Cult go. Master? Here I we think go. so. That's three Unleash cards against the gets draw. It's pretty crazy. Black Knight value. Still relevant. In fact, yeah. he gets yeah he gets the board clear like you said, and he draws cards. Yeah. Sick. Oh, man. And he's going to have more cards than Warrior. By the way, Reyna's kind of so tricky to play against. Uh, nowadays, he's playing versus Hunter. You just don't play around Unleash the Hounds combo. Because there's none. And then the Cult Master does four damage to the face. Oh, well, he yeah, drew another way to do it, to get rid of it. Wow. Yeah, how much? Like, you don't want to take that damage, though. Oh, boy. Yeah, he's getting a little bit low here. And he played Black Knight, I believe, then. Let's not forget, we still have that bow in there. Reyna has Black Knight in his own hunter deck, too. Yeah. This is a, this is a kind of cool hunter deck. I'm really excited about Stripe Crows and Reynad's hunter decks in this tournament. Huh. They're really cool. Okay, so he's going to... Choose to put the weapon, which means next turn he wants to Alex Straza and start whacking and yes, be aggressive. You're right, and he hits for seven, and then he can kill him the next turn for sure. By the way, that's really easily because he can. Yeah, that's why Reynard wow. and Stripe for both are really difficult to play against because those guys are deck builders. They are bringing new ideas all the time. Yeah. So that will put. The warrior or the hunter at eight if he just chooses to go full aggression to the face. Okay, so but how yeah, much let's say he remaining? goes completely to face, right? Yeah. Um, so he has two minions out, which means we can see six, and then 
eight, both he eleven from the bow, and then 13. two from unleash, three from the bow, and yeah, two from the power. So it's eight. But then he 10, can kill 13. off. Yeah, it's not enough. Do you do Alexstrasza then? If you do Alexstrasza, you're one damage off lethal next turn. Yeah. But uh, they have to kill Alexstrasza. Like. Yeah, it's pretty rough. Well, but you, he you, gets can get trap. you can yeah. get a trap. You can get a trap. So he's going for the aggression. Will it pay off? That's not the card he wants. Nah. That's it was six, eight, mm. ten points of damage. What traps 30. do you have other than freezing? Snake trap? Um, I would imagine he's playing snake trap. With like it'd be weird Master. if he wasn't. At it least makes, one. It right? makes sense. We will never know. Or oh, sorry, we oh, will never well, know. Freezing know. trap. And actually, he's going to lose because of Gromash. Well. No, because he's one damage off. He doesn't have a way to pop it. Oh, no, no, yeah, he pops with it with Alex Gromash. With Gromash. You attack with Gromash, and then kill with Alex Oh, Alexstrasza. you're right, you're yeah. right. Of course, we're thinking about the opposite way around. I was thinking like, oh, yeah, you attack with Alex Straza. But the Freezing Trap denies it, and that's going to be game. Whoa. Wow. All that right. That was fast. Yeah, have it going 2-1 uh, towards Amaz right now. Winning with that Warrior deck. Of course, Reynad thinks Warrior decks are bad, so he should be able to dispatch it in this next game. He, he has, shaman. He has yeah. a Shaman, and Shaman is pretty good versus Warrior. Now that Priest is out of the way, then uh, Amaz will have to turn to uh, either his Druid or his Warlock, assuming it goes according to the plan. So, Was there any value in hiding information if you're running a Brawl? Uh, I mean, Brawl is pretty common nowadays, so... Yeah, I think uh, it's really super rare. Like, the tricky thing is not running a brawl because you have to play around it because you just assume everyone has a brawl. Right. Uh, all right, so two to one. Obviously going to pick Shaman, I think. What's his other deck? That's a warrior. So yeah, he has a warrior. He doesn't want to use a warrior. And um, there is Zoo from a, from a Maz. I guess he did bomb Shaman does fine against Zoo. Yeah, I, I think Shaman has actually has a good chance to 2 -oh. Yeah, yeah, it definitely does. It's it's like definitely a good pick. So well, according to him, he's got the better shaman deck than Savis. Then uh, yeah, than anyone because he's he's undefeated as well. He's five zero, and then other people's shaman decks are also undefeated too. But in general, shaman is just a good class to deal. So yeah. Well, we've seen shaman dominate w WCA. Shaman's doing pretty well here as well. Um, so that will be really interesting to see how Reynard pilots the shaman, unless his lack of RNG is coming back to him. Well, uh, we will see about that. Let's look at these uh, mulligans. I like the warrior's hand. Amaz having the low cost minions. What exactly is Reynad looking for here? Do you think, guys? Undertaker. Low drops. Oh, does, does he have he Undertaker? Have Undertaker? In here? I don't think he did in this one. I think. That's the, the possibility. Yeah. He is doing hammer because he threw a uh, earth shock, which I feel like is kind of neat against early acolytes or stuff like that. But I guess we'll see what he does. He has a lot of stuff that does 3 damage also. I feel like Shaman versus Warrior is more and more tricky with the new next Shaman's cards. Like you have, being, oh yeah. being a Warrior, you have the Brawl. Uh, it's good that Amaz, like it's good for Amaz that he's running Whirlwind. But uh, other than that, Warrior really struggles. Doomhammer is one of the greatest cards against uh, Warrior. Yeah, that's a really important card in here. Oh man, no weapons to deal with this. Ah, okay. Well, he's all set late game. <laughs> there is a weapon. So do you s do you shield slam something? Coin shield slam. I really like to keep my Gosh. shield slam for fire elemental, but and you you do have to. Stop I want to keep my coin for the belcher as well because belcher is just like really nice against shaman. But he did just use a shield block though. He yeah. He has he has the weapon, and he has the belcher on turn five. Yeah, like the the weapon works very well also, and this prevents damage. I'm sure he's. He I'm sure he's happy that there is no flame tomb totem. Yeah, you know, I guess developing that weapon before the belcher is really nice as well. So basically, he didn't take any damage, and this board on the shaman side is not really amazing right now. Yeah, he's got mostly spells just in hand. Like, I mean, the lightning bolts you're basically gonna want to use as removals or finishers. They, you just you just keep them. This but taunt totem is actually so annoying for the warrior. Yeah, it is. Well, you can. No matter what Reynad chooses to do here, it's it's going to be stopped by the taunt totem. <laughs> uh, will win, the warrior will win execute the taunt totem <laughs> <laughs> to be able to attack into the, the spider. 
mean, you do what you got to do. Uh, well, I think he's just going to sludge belcher and pass, right? Like, I can't do anything else. By the way, what do you guys think about the um, death throttle timings? Does it increase the skill cap, knowing exactly when the death throttle yeah, triggers? Yeah, of course it increases the skill cap. By the way, guys, um, I was talking with Sake, actually, about the timings of things that happen. Uh, there were some really interesting ones. Actually, I'll bring them up after the match, because this is actually a really exciting <laughs> good match. But you can't just start off a conversation topic like guys, that. Guys, I have something really interesting to talk about later. <laughs> oh, great. Oh, boy. <laughs> hey, actually, play the wolf. I'm actually a little bit surprised about that. Did you play that uh, right there? Fire Elemental? Uh, denying it? Well, yeah, I guess he is denying that as well, but I guess it's because he had that taunt totem and the weapons out like Martian was talking about. So... You know, the the weapon was like kind of useless against just a taunt totem as your taunt, but I generally think that using both Feral Spirits before the Brawl also puts you in a scary position. Uh. Because then your ability to reload mm. afterwards and defend yourself after they inevitably go like Brawl and uh. they play Oxdraza is very limited. I, f I feel like for sure I would have played the Egg so that I could go for my uh, free attack dude this turn, but... This board is really awkward. What do you do here being a Shaman? Do you just... Do you want to use Airshock or is there value in keeping Airshock against Sylvanas? You have a small damage totem. So Belchers are annoying. Well, the, the totems just keep on coming. That's, unla gonna that's actually unlucky. A uh, healing totem would be much better. Healing totem would be insane here. Hey, whirlwind anybody. Yeah, seems right. good to me. Watch Rain at space. Hold Normally, on. you're not playing uh, my favorite part. around the whirlwind. Really? Ah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> See? Yeah. 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 That's the type of move where I roll my eyes even if I'm alone in my bedroom playing. Mm. You will I remember you. that whirlwind. Yeah. All right, well, he, he can choose to do a lot of things this turn. He's going to use Lightning Bolt to try and advance his Doom Mirror. I don't believe Amaz is playing Harrison Jones, correct? I don't think so. I, I don't think he is. I don't think so, but uh, this turn was so super awkward because next turn he would have only 5 points of mana, so he won't be able to play that Fire Elemental. Well, there's not too much loss there because the only thing he could do is hit the Armorsmith, but I suppose maybe he could draw into something else, okay? He is like an Azu Drake. Ah. Now that 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 definitely is painful. He had the opportunity to get a big advantage on the board by playing uh, the fire elemental. Yeah, it's he's been uh, like uh, overloaded on a lot of important turns. I feel like uh, Abbas is having only four points of armor, and uh, this will be important that the Doomhammer was played because he will be getting the armor out, so reducing yeah. the the value of shield slam. Unless Abbas actually gets a shield block after he already um, used one, right? So. He used one on the Feral Spirit uh, Wolf, but slam, not block. Oh, slam! So he can use he can if he top decks the slam? block. He did play a shield slam before. Oh, shield slam! Yeah, no, so no one plays slam right you now. You just said <laughs> slam, and I was, uh, I was confused. No, he's not using slam. Or is he? Okay, he gets rid of this eggs. Stop it, Nim. Shut up. I think it looks really well for Amaz overall. Uh, right now, he's yeah. not doing yeah. enough pressure. Well, he has such good cards. Uh, and oh, but actually, after this Yusera really yeah. gets hexed, he's still just going to be stopping. There's a taunt totem. This has to be Yusera Awakens. Yeah, if he gets that, that's pretty awesome. That's game changing. Awakens will be just winning the game. No. Oh, it's Amaz's Ooh. least favorite card, the Laughing Sister. That's his least favorite? Oh, is least that favorite Ysera's card. Is, does anyone in the world prefer Laughing Sister to any of the other cards? Yeah, I prefer Sister to Drake. <laughs> <laughs> At least yeah, it's one mana less. That's true, yeah. That's a great point, Such Nimsh. troll. <laughs> Nim um, Raynet refuses, I suppose, to try and go for uh, Fire Elemental. In fact, did he go to fifth quickly? I'm not sure. I mean, as a shaman, you want to hero power as often as possible to get to that very annoying taunt yeah. totem. Well, I think that's what he's focusing on. I think he's identified that this game should go long. Uh, we didn't have a quick enough start from Amaz for him to finish it quickly with like a Grumash. 
So I like uh, like just doing hero power every turn. I think that in okay. in some matchups, like if you're favored, a, a decent portion of the time is because of your hero power. Uh, and using that hero power each turn as often as possible can really help. And it's like saving cards kind of By in a certain way, weird way. You can easily kill Loftak here with Death Spite and Taskmaster, so that was a pretty good card to get. And then you can even play like Mal Alaphix or Acolyte, whatever. You can also ignore Loftak when you can play Death Spite and uh, both minions. Mm -hmm. And try to pos and attack maybe face and position yourself uh, to deal a lot of damage this turn. Because Shaman's board seems big, but it, it's just a 5-5 five five and you, ha you still have like 27% of health. Mm. I, I like uh, your the first thing you said more about you actually you killing both of them. You don't like using execute and stuff. Um, no, I, I I like this play quite a bit. Like, look, he's got a couple totem killers. Like, y you yeah. know, you can take one out. You can't really. Uh, I guess actually you can. He has fire elemental, so you can actually just kill both these. Yeah, fire elemental snipes it. Oh, it's, it's flame, flame tongue flame totem tongue. as well. So yeah. fire elemental flame tongue. Yeah, yeah, that's uh. Quite nice, unless his opponent plays BGH, because then he might lose the totems. And then, if you roll a taunt totem, oh my goodness. Oh, oh boy. That's just oh, baby, that's so that's so juicy for the shaman player, but as a warrior, you're so upset about that. I must need Alex Straza or Brawl. I'm not even sure if, if Alex Straza would be that good in this spot. Um... I mean, I think Alex Strauss would be good here, but... He's trying to play around the possibility of BGH a lot. Yeah. yeah. he's th That's the one thing that's like a little bit scary here is... Oh, so Monus gets Earthshock, and then he can trade in. Wi like he, the Earthshock will do three damage, trade in the Flame Tongue, just start bashing. In fact, if uh, the, like the Azure Drake picks up Rock Biter, it might not even matter. If you could execute your own Sylvanas... Th that would be a sick play. Joke's already, joke's already done, Marvin. I said it like <laughs> twice to anticipate. <laughs> let's, 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 let's lay off the execute jokes for now. <laughs> but I appreciate the setup. Thank you. No, but you, uh, like, look at the board. I mean, you want to probably draw a card from Acolyte anyway. Yeah, Acolyte and Execute on the 6-5 is probably good. Yeah. It's the best you can get, I guess. I mean, you draw a card first anyway. So you draw a card and then you see what ca what's happening. <laughs> is there any merit in playing playing Grimash right now? I don't think so. You want to keep it probably no. as your winning condition. No, I think you use the Acolyte to draw. I think that's really important. Like, you're going to need to draw the turn that you play Acolyte, probably. Like, yeah, so that you can draw two cards. You just need to draw, period. Like, you don't yeah. have Alex Straza or, you don't, like, if you have Baron Geddon, which I don't think he does, but anyway, like, another Sludge Belger to challenge the board, something. You something know what? that just doesn't get completely overrun. Grimash play is not that dumb. It's it's you, you, you can't execute at the same time. Yeah, so you attack into a totem, you enrage Gomash, you kill the Flame Tongue, and then you execute the 6 5. So that was a play, but uh, I like keeping Gomash. Yeah, yeah. Th this does bait out Urshock. And yeah, you, can it does. Do you can even play Sylvanas. I like nope, it. Never mind. That no longer baits Urshock. Forces a choice. Well, at least you can get another card off him then. That's nice. In fact, he might kill the totem if Shaman wants to save that charge. Rock, rock Biter. Oh my god, how much uh, is this? He's got 10 from the Doom Hammer, 2 ten. from the totem, 3 from the Fireman. That's 15 damage. It's 3 damage of lethal. He m mm. What if he draws? Does he, does he already use a Rock Biter? Like, what if he draws off the Azure Drake? And just draws into, like, Rock Biter number 2? Can you? That'd be pretty good. Crazier things have happened in a game of Hearthstone. Can you actually. Uh, is there any merit in Airshock into the Acolyte to kill it, then attack with the totem face, Rock Biter, kill Sylvanas, and uh, attack face with the Rock Biter? I mean, you... Yeah, and then Azur Drake? You could go, or like, throw your totem into his 1-2, uh, and then... You want to deny the draw, so I think yeah, Airshock is actually bad. Yeah, Rock Biter to kill the Sylvanas and then go to face once, and then you can just clean up the totem that he steals. Actually, with that it. might I actually be better. I don't like that that much, though. Oh, another taunt totem. I like Earthshock and Sylvanas, but he's not going to yeah. use the... I guess he's just going to use the Fire Elemental to put on as much pressure as possible. Yeah, this looks this looks by far the best play. Yeah, it's good. And he's just a little closer to potentially getting lethal. Is there any way to stop it? Ragnaros has to snipe the 6-5? Oh, man. You can draw a card first. That's true. Yeah. 
Drawing a card might be the best play here. Unless he wants to play Gromosh and then just draw into like execute number two on the Firelink Nexus. Like that's the only way other combination, but that <laughs> is very That's a hard one. Yeah. Well if he Yeah, he can do this and then proc the, the six five okay. and look for Same execute. Sequence, yep. That or that works. BGH. If he draws Yeah, two. that's true. BGH would do it. That's actually that that's a whole nother out because 'cause I'm Pretty sure Dumas does play BGH in this, right? If come down to this, oh, he's well, just, even if he's, he's gonna take the guaranteed choice. That's oh, it. That's the game. Ball's too yeah. expensive. That's it's 18. That's exactly 18. Wow, wow. Is Rainier gonna BM his opponent? Nope. Too much respect. How for would that. you do it? Oh, oh, oh he okay. Whatever. Yeah, lots of ways. That would be just overkill. I like your top deck. It's just too good. All right. Wow, that was well played by both and players. And that means we're going to game number five. Amaz versus Raynad couldn't ask for something better than this. So what happens when you have uh, both players equally skilled and with equal RNG? You just go to game the five. The last game is going to be a draw. We're going to see a Ysir's Awakening. Draw it. And they're <laughs> both going to the round of eight. And the other two guys are oh like, wow. oh, wait, why? <laughs> we don't even get to play. We don't get to play. Match. Like, I think I can win. <laughs> Sick. Uh, well, uh, Amaz... Um, had a tough matchup from the get-go of that game four because Warrior struggles against Shaman. Now he has the opportunity to pick something that he feels is good against Shaman. He has Warlock, which is Zoo, and he has a Druid deck. I okay, I think a Druid deck. I think I like both, actually. It really depends on yeah. where he feels more comfortable. I like the Zoo much better you like than the I like Zoo the better Druid. Than the Druid? Because the Zoo player can just run away with games, and then Shaman is... It's dependent on drawing their lightning storm. So yeah, they force yeah. them to have the removal. Like and you haven't seen. Yeah, the they have like so have much. Shaman. Like they have six one cost removal ish spells. Like sometimes Earthrock right. doesn't do it, but uh, and then you have the lightning storms, and then you like have probably at least one Argus, right. and like so. I like. I normally do like Shaman against you. I think it's like pretty pretty reasonable, but I I mean I th I think you choose probably the one that you feel comfortable with here. Ooh, well, okay. One thing is he's, he's on the coin. Shaman needs every single card available to remove all of Zoo because then they get outpaced by the the hero power of Warlock. But uh, Rainier does Lightning to. Storm. He gets Lightning to. Storm. Yeah, that's the exact card you're looking for right there. Y but you have to play it at the right time. That's Rainier actually. Got if it you play it one turn too cool. early or one turn too late, you just lose. He knows. Th if he if he doesn't know it's Zoo. Then oh, then he deserves, then he deserves, to, lose. He deserves yeah. to lose. Yeah, that's an also great combination yeah. too. That's fantastic. Well, the thing about the uh, the zoo versus shaman is that uh, one lightning storm is great, but uh, something zoo just shakes it off mm. and still spams the board with minions. So no Undertaker start, unfortunately for Amaz. Yeah, that that definitely goes in Raynad's favor. But there is a lot of power anyway. I mean, if you follow with um, with the wolf, that's a lot of damage. And a board that uh, that will have oh. to be like great draws from Raynad though. He's got sticky minions. Yeah. He's got ways to compound the board. Do you He's egg? If you can't win with that hand, then I am totally wrong that Shaman is. Do you develop? Good do you develop the Nerubian egg? Because then. Yeah, totally get Nerubian egg because then with the the uh, flame tongue totem you have like unlimited removal. Do you do it? No, right no, no. Now, I though? mean, like being uh, being a mouse. Do you, do you? Do oh, you oh, 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 okay. You play so the like now, so you force them to not lightning storm, play feral spirit, and then you play the wolf, and you're able to deal with the feral spirit in a way. Yeah, we're coming up on the turn where we would see a, a oh my lightning God. storm. Like that would actually uh, be so amazing because after feral spirit, he's able to kill one of the wolf and th then kill another wolf and then and then give yep. himself four four. The vicious yeah. cycle. Although he would love if he picked up just a like a one mana removal. So that way he can squeeze it in and protect his flame tongue a little bit better. Oh wow! Uh, lightning sir, lightning bolt doesn't change much. Do you no. feral then? Uh, the problem is if you whatever you do, you overload yourself for next turn. That's a tough choice. Look, how about this? Okay, Nerubian egg, lightning bolt the one three, run your spider into the two one. That gives you three things on the board that your Flame Tongue Totem can help clean up everything. I, like I think it. that's really good. I like it. I, I like the play. And you only overload yourself for one, so you are yeah. able to follow up with Feral or Lightning Storm next turn. That's, that's right. That's yeah. a really impressive line of play. So yeah, I mean, it prevents a lot of damage. If he only has the Creeper out, like, he can remove one of your spiders and you don't even care because you, like, your Flame Tongue is an awesome play the next turn. And 
Uh, obviously, Feral yeah, Spirits is a great play. It's, it's not bad. You've got a lot going on. Like your line of play with Lightning Bolt and uh, Nerubian Egg is, ju is just uh, an Feral aggressive. Spirits. It's not passive. It's just aggressive, and you're taking control of the board. Yeah. Uh, this is a, like a pretty defensive play. We'll see how it works out for him. It's oh, it will. It will won't work. Yeah, like he can easily remove the wolves with this direwolf alpha. He's getting leopard. But he is giving up stuff on the board to he remove is. direwolf. He I is. mean, that's what ultimately Shaman cares about. Uh, second egg is also an awkward. Like I think Amaz would love abusive surgeon here. Yeah, yeah. It would be so much better if he would play in the Rubian egg instead of the Hunter's Keeper. You know what's really nice is that he has this other Void Walker, so he can protect this Direwolf Alpha more easily. Oh yeah, that's really nice. Because that that is so important. He can just play removal all day. And Reynard is not able to Lightning Stone this turn. Uh, I still I still think you're okay with that. Uh, not really, because the next turn you will see double the Rubian egg. Yeah. Well, you don't know that as of now. Yeah, of course. <laughs> okay, so there. So Renard was okay with that. I think you just developed double Nerubian egg. Like there's no way. Yes, double Nerubian egg because this is already a board where you would consider using Lightning Storm. Yeah. So I would definitely agree with you, Marcia. And you do you, you do the double because if there is one Earthshock, you can easily Earthshock one of the eggs and then Lightning Storm. Yeah. But with double Nerubian egg, you're surely getting something out of this. Yeah. And if he's like killing off this board of five attack to get a four attack out there. That's not what you want to do. I wonder if Amaz is tempted at all to pick off the Nerubian egg while it just can't attack back. I think it's not a, it's not bad at all. Um, you're able to get a lot of value from those tokens. Yeah, that's true. That's true. And I then you can just play the Nerubian eggs next to this wolf. But this is kind of what Raynad wants. It is. It's slowing the game down a like little bit, but... Uh, no, I think it's all right to slow the game down a little bit right here. Yeah, but as long there's, eh. there's no activators for the eggs. Like if you just lightning, oh, well, I guess he well doesn't want a lightning bolt. He has an activator in hand and the wolf on board, so he kind of like True. he might be able to get him out. And of course, like lightning storm is not really an option right now. Yeah, you're right. But if you just uh, flame tongue totem and then lightning bolt. Yeah, I I, I like flame tongue totem. Oh, he gets a taunt a totem too. That is excellent. Wow, what a roll for Raynad. Yeah, quite Does nice. Does this actually matter? I think so. I think so. Because now... Like, if you flame tongue in between these, you can kill off, like, with a lightning bolt plus that attack, you kill off uh, the enabler that is the direwolf alpha, and you kill off the taunt, so right. that you're... Now you have three minions out that the flame tongue powers, and that's, like, yep. pretty insane, especially when you have one that has taunt. Is there any justification for not giving attack power to the stone claw totem the taunt one because you don't want it to pop like uh, what, what if he played it on the other side so that way there's no way the egg can pop i think even if he pops it it's okay cuz he has he has feral spirit in and hand so that'll buy him the time he needs mm -hmm. he yeah. wants to do this but it's painful cuz he can't file them until next turn yeah yeah but he has feral but spirits so he can stall yeah feral spirit totem next turn is actually really good too cuz you can even if he pops this on the the stone claw you can feral first and then make a totem, and that's I like that. That's still really good. I think raynad has got this game. Oh, hold on. I, I Zoo I don't can do Zoo yeah. things. Zoo <laughs> does Zoo things. That is true. I, I, I don't want to get ahead of myself. Yeah. <laughs> he, he made a series of very nice plays to, to put himself in a good position. Oh, man. Oh, the Finnebrook is draw. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, wow. Th this is actually taking care of the 4 4 is very easy. Yeah. But uh, is there any very then? Okay, so Lightning Storm is out of the option. Uh, it's not an option. Feral Spirit. Why Why is it not an option at all? Lightning Storm? Yeah, because yeah, you can clear what everything you set power the... Totem? What if you roll Spell Power Totem? Then you want to kill the egg. Oh, man. I think that the it is an option, the Lightning Storm. Because you kill yeah, off the egg, and you can actually kill that. Right. You have a guaranteed clear on everything except for one Nerubian remaining. Yeah. I, I don't think I would do that. I like the... Uh, because the Nerubian did get activated, I really... Because this is what I was actually saying last turn, was the make the totem and make the wolves. Because this buys you a lot of time against the the Nerubian. Would you attack into the Nerubian or face? Uh, it's a cash-in on the value immediately on Flame Tongue, assuming your opponent doesn't have Soul Fire. But he proved that he couldn't get through it last time. And, and Amaz is drawing very poorly in terms of like what he needs right now. He needed like a Soul Fire. Yeah. Hmm. 
you probably don't tap. You just yeah, this yeah, is yeah. not yeah. like you tap and you present you potentially have a disastrous turn. If you tap into Doom Guard, that is just yeah, awful. that's the worst thing ever. Uh, yeah, I think playing it is actually correct. Yeah, you know what? There's a big opportunity for some major lightning storm value. Or yeah, I can't oh, do it this oh, turn oh, though. Kidding, though. Not this turn. <laughs> the low step came down. And look at this, he has been uh, mana locked below six the entire time. This flame elemental that would love to be out here playing, not able to. But he's actually got a really nice hand still. So do you trade in flame song and then h roll again to try to get flame, uh, not flame song, trade in the, the taunt totem so that way you try to roll again to get taunt totem? What do you think, by the way, about killing the three two with its uh, taunt totem and then uh, using Argus on the Feral Spirit and killing both of them? Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Um, okay, and rolling again. Get taunt totem. Oh, not quite. Not this time. At least he can fight back, and it's not just a helpless totem. Yeah. Okay, so you go face with this wolf then. Yeah. Okay, that was really good. That was good. Yeah, time. I liked it as well. I left for no. Soulfire is good. Soulfire is what he needs. That is a fantastic draw right there. Yeah, uh, it's about time though. Amaz yeah. is running pretty weak up until now. Oh, he's and the board opens up a lot. Yeah, yeah, this was really, really important. He just took co took control of the board just like that with one Soulfire. Yeah, that was really good. So uh, he can't have enough mana to Lightning Storm and Fire Elemental, but you did pick up Hex. Yeah, so it is a response to the five five. Yeah, like... Oh, we don't have enough mana to defend of Argus two targets. Oh, God. I w if this spider actually had two attack, that would be, like, even better, I think. You can probably attack with this spider into 2-1, and then Hex and Defender of Argus into both yeah. spiders. It's also appropriate. Kill yeah. off the Leopard, no? Yeah, that's I, I was looking at that as well. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's perfect. That's perfect. Yeah, and then you have, like, two 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 taunts and a 2-3. And then if the so Lothab attacks in, it sets up for Lightning Storm or Fire Elemental, depending no, no, on how you evaluate you the hex, situation. You hex Lothab anyway. Oh, uh, okay. You're yeah, you're, you're hexing Lothab. Sure. So his attack power on the board turns into one against two 2-2 two, two taunts and a 2-3. Yeah. That's wow. So you take the... Uh, he also has a 0-1 frog, but uh, that doesn't matter. On a Creeper is an excellent card <laughs> against Aggro. Look at this. Yeah, yeah. That's especially pretty awesome. Especially followed by Defender of Argus. Yeah, it looks like he found that play without any problem whatsoever. Just had, right. had to go over it, of course. I feel like whenever Shaman uh, uses Defender of Argus on those on those spiders, he is getting a uh, really good board, and he's getting ahead. Whatever he's playing against. Oh, this is so annoying how these are placed. Should he have considered this and put Lothab somewhere else? Oh, like on the very edge of the board? Oh, okay, he's got another alternative. Okay, that's good. <laughs> he's got another alternative to pop the egg. Yeah. But then... Do you pop, do you the, pop egg? the egg, though? He hasn't seen a single lightning storm. That's true, but your opponent's on two cards. He's had multiple opportunities to in the past. It's hard. You can't make that call all the time and be correct. What do you think? Um, ah, no, I don't like that. Never mind. I think you still pop the egg. I think popping the egg is your best bet. You need strong bodies because you know that Shaman has... Good draws coming up soon. Yeah. Also, you have the frog. Things we can see if he pops that egg, it, everything can fall apart next turn. Everything will fall apart next turn. Yeah. If that's the case. Yeah. Fire, well, like he, will, like he, he has no overload coming left. in, right? Huh? He has zero overload coming in? Zero overload. Yep. Yeah. Ouch. Yep. Uh, Ouch. Yeah. Everything that's dies. That's in fact, no matter what he does, Fire Elemental and Lightning Storm will yeah. wreck everything. It is completely the and case. And you don't attack, you just pass. Yeah, in fact, attacking him guarantees a cleared board versus here you're, you're still uh, have an opportunity to fight back. Yeah, he just needs to clear this. This is not that hard to calculate, right? So you lightning storm. Yeah, you lightning storm first. One spider will. I, yeah, yeah, a spider oh. will live. You don't dare oh, wait, do test fate and with spell power totem. Is there no. any? Is there any? Test? <laughs> That's crazy talk. No, no, no. You could actually like fire uh, fire the mental the spiders. And then lightning storm because whatever oh happens, okay, yeah, everything yeah. will die anyway. Yeah, you're right. This is better. High rolls, wow. Yeah, but then he protects his taunts. Yeah, I like it. I mean, yeah. he was able to save a minion. This was good. Oh, uh, okay. Well, it's it's a minion, but he was really hoping for some answer because he's also low on health. Mortal Carl would be interesting. Yeah, I nope. don't think he plays that. How do you like Mana Titanum? 
being the only card in Reyna's hand. That's, That's a good last card, I it's guess. It's good because look at what happens here. Amaz is going to lose this Nerubian, and he's going to just try to set up board control. But then you can eliminate pretty much everything here. And then, like, you don't... you The Manatai Totem, if it goes unchecked, just climbs you back in the game. Yeah. Well, it will draw at least and he one doesn't card. And he does not have the resource to get rid of Manatai. Oh, look here. Oh, wow. Is it lethal? Wow. It, no. It, no, he's got... He can't do it. This is nine points of damage. But what a big draw here. And I don't foresee any way for Maz to climb this out because he only has two cards to get him out of here. Yeah. He needs to specifically so get a set of cards. Into it doesn't even... I don't know what that's he's getting. He's tapped. It. And that's... I mean, that's a good card. But that's, that's it. That's it. Um, Raynad got out of group stages and is going to the top eight. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. But that was a really good series. That was a fantastic series, really. They Shaman both played very well. Undefeated for Raynette as well. We've got a lot of hot streaks going, but Shaman <laughs> seems to be the one running the best. Oh Guys, man. by the way, what I loved about the series and what I loved about Hearthstone is that how many choices there were. Like those players had so many lines of play that they could take. Yeah, there was. So there was like a lot of a uh, lot of options there that he could have gone with. Look I at think how, how many opinions really we had uh, on the play on the yeah, possible yeah. plays. A lot Very of times back we kind and of forth in, game, um, really tight. But in the end, you know, you guys were right with that kind of uh, start from Shaman. Uh, it, even though Raynad was still like at the border of losing the board presence, um, overall he never really felt under true threat. It wasn't like he was looking at low life totals and trying to top deck the answer. It was more like Amaz needed to respond perfectly every yeah. time. Uh, and I felt like overall it was just a nice battle back and forth. And Raynad's the one who came out ahead three yeah. two. Yeah. In fact, uh, Raynad's uh, right here, ready for an come interview. Come on, Congratulations, you're out of the group stage into the final bracket. Thanks. Yeah. Um, so how do you feel uh, being out of the group stage for, uh, it was a long time, man. Like, are, you I was, are you been enjoying the tournament from the casting couch? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good, good retaliation. Uh, yeah, it's but nice, uh, man. It's, uh, yeah, it was lucky. I mean, I... At first, I, I I thought he had like a standard freeze list, so I thought, oh, you know, freeze mage is gonna be pretty good against this. But as we actually played the games, he's playing Shadowward Pain and Lothub. If I'm, I think he's playing Lothub at least. I think I saw that in an earlier match. So that matchup is actually, it's the matchup again that I thought I would get, and I I got it. But it's like <laughs> mage can't beat that deck. Like you play Shadowward Pain, it's it's like those few cards change the matchup so much. So uh, after realizing that, I mean, his lineup was really good against me. So it's going to be really hard to win. Basically, I needed to get past Priest, and then uh, I felt like Shaman and Hunter were both favored against everything else. But getting past Priest was really hard. So Hunter was my best deck against Priest. It's the only deck that was slightly favored against Priest. Um, I got, like, a pretty bad draw, but I couldn't mull it because he would run away with the board if I didn't draw Bow. So uh, I kept the conservative hand of, like, Leopard Gnome, Web Spinner, Hunter's Mark. And it sort of worked out. I mean, I had to get lucky at the end, but I mean, the matchup is close. And for every every time I top deck Eaglehorn Bow in that situation, I could also just like play turn one Undertaker with Coin and Priest dies. So did you f did you feel tempted to kill the four one injured Blademaster when you like double unleashed? No, because that's a trade he has to make. The only way I win is if he has no AOE, and if he has no AOE, that's an attack he's gonna make. Can you tell us more about your Hunter deck, by the way? Because it's different than uh, other players are playing. Double Unleash, uh, Cult Master. Yeah, Unleash is still like a powerful, unique effect. And uh, cards like Knife Juggler, I just didn't really like when I was playing them. They kind of just died to everything. They traded unfavorably against every Death Rattle minion people play. So uh, Knife Juggler is okay in like turn five with Unleash, but I didn't really like that card. And I tried like all aggro, but it wasn't, it just like lacks card draw. I'd never cut high main. It's just too important in too many matchups. So. It left me with Cult Master as, like, the only option. It's much better than Buzzard. I mean, if you have a couple of Spectral Spiders out with, like, Haunted Creeper, that can get a lot of value. And it, pretty much every time I've played it, it's been really, really good. So I've been happy with it. Um, but, yeah, I, I have, like, a Black Knight. And yeah, I mean, it's a solid deck. I, mean, I think it's definitely my best deck. It's the first time I've actually gotten to play it. Um, but, yeah, Amaz's deck's – I mean, he had Priest. So that, you know, uh, I, I think it was right of him to ban Ray off there. Yeah. Um, really well played. Did, did you ever consider to use your warrior in that match, even though he didn't have the priest mage? Because you were talking like some, uh, some class smack is talk class about is it. unplayable. Yeah, it's <laughs> unplayable. <laughs> no, okay. it's, it's literally there for countering freeze mage because 
I thought a lot of players would bring it, and we've okay. seen more mid-range mages than freeze, and the players who did bring freeze, I felt like misplayed a lot with it, and mm -hmm. it like cost them some wins in the games I saw at least. So, I, uh, yeah, I freeze mage was like underrepresented, and I probably shouldn't have brought warrior. Yeah. In hindsight, I guess, yeah. but with how good freeze mage, I guess, did it by game. Yeah, exactly. That's what I figured. Yeah. Well, right yeah, now, two first match. place. Oh, sorry, what were you saying? No, it was just like an exciting match. Yeah, yeah it was, yeah, really yeah, it was, it was fun. Really well, it, it was, was fun, especially the, the Hunter Freeze game, like you <laughs> said. That was really fun. Because that's what Amaz does to his opponents. Yeah. And uh, you were able to be the one on the opposite side this time around. Yep. Bringing down the Justice Hammer. <laughs> I told you. I told you. I he called said it. Was there running yeah. bet on me using that word? <laughs> no, 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 no. It was just like I knew that you were thinking like that. This is just at, at somewhere that deep in Raynad's head. He Look, okay. It I'm not saying it wasn't lucky, but like if I played that game any differently, that was 100% luck. Yeah. So I, I don't know. Yeah, I was I was recommending you on that. Nobody would have kept that opening game. hand either. I don't think web spinner hunters mark. Yeah, they they fish for Undertaker or bust. Exactly. Yeah. 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 You know, like you, you can still lose to. I already saw Shadow Lord Pain. You can still lose to Pyro. Uh, yeah, it's just like. Yeah, he's on coin. If I have coin, then I I agree. Fishing for Undertaker is yeah. right because then it's like impossible for me to deal with. But yeah, if I go first, I have to just go with that hand. Suck it up. Well, uh, you ran first place in your group twice over, and you're in the top eight. You're in the money. Congratulations, yeah, Raynette, yeah, yeah. and uh, good luck tomorrow as well, I suppose. Um, I guess you can finally get some good night's rest as well early on, because usually I think last time you are playing until like 2 a.m. or I something. I could like that. do that, really or I could go drink excessively at the club they ran about. <coughs> that's true. So we're going to yeah. do that. That's a, that's a tough choice to make. Uh, not particularly. <laughs> All right, yeah. yeah. Well, we'll, we'll take right. care of you tonight, and then we'll make sure you're, you're here tomorrow right. as well. Don't worry. Yeah. All right, good we'll stuff. wake you up. Uh, well, that does it for the winners' match. Uh, Reyna is the one advancing. I'm pretty happy for that one myself as well because uh, it's it's good to see Reyna back on top in good form. Uh, when we come back, we're gonna have the lower match of Kubiks versus Pity. This group is not over yet. There's still another spot, and let's find out who is gonna see alive to fight for it.